What are genetic mutations and disorders? Well, first we should make sure we understand what genetic code and genes are. The genetic code of every living thing has four bases, and although each organism's DNA is unique, all DNA is composed of the same nitrogen based molecules. The bases group into threes to make a code for one amino acid. These nucleotide triplets are called codons. A gene is essentially a short section of DNA. Each gene codes for a specific protein by specifying the order in which amino acids must be joined together. But what happens if something goes wrong? Different forms of the gene are referred to as alleles. Since diploid organisms carry two copies of each gene, they may carry identical alleles and be homozygous for a gene, or carry different alleles and be heterozygous for a gene. A recessive mutation is one in which both alleles must be mutant in order for the mutant phenotype to be observed, meaning the individual must be homozygous for the mutant allele to show the mutant phenotype. Mutations can happen in varying stages of meiosis, but it is possible to predict the likelihood of children inheriting a disorder from their parents. Fortunately, diseases caused by just one dominant copy of a defective gene, such as Huntington's, are very rare. An example of a disease caused by a homozygous gene mutation is Tay-Sachs disease. This disease is caused by a frameshift mutation of the hexagene. Frameshift mutation can also be known as insertion or deletion mutation. Frameshift mutations arise when the normal sequence of codons is disrupted by the insertion or deletion of one or more nucleotides, provided that the number of nucleotides added or removed is not a multiple of three. The hexagene provides instructions for making one subunit of an enzyme called beta-hexaminidase A. Beta-hexaminidase A plays a critical role in the brain and spinal cord. This enzyme is found in lysosomes, which are the structures in cells that break down toxic substances and act as recycling centres. Within lysosomes, beta-hexaminidase A forms part of a complex that breaks down a fatty substance called GM2 ganglioside. GM2 ganglioside builds up in cells of the brain and nerves and stops them from working normally, eventually destroying them. Tay-Sachs disease is a rare and usually fatal genetic disorder that causes progressive damage to the nervous system. Symptoms usually begin before a baby is six months old. The most noticeable early symptoms include a baby being excessively startled by sudden noises and red dots appearing in the middle of their eyes. It eventually slows development and movements altogether. Most children with the condition die before they're four years old. Less common forms of Tay-Sachs disease can begin in later childhood or even in early adulthood. These usually progress less rapidly, although are usually still fatal. Both parents have to be carriers of the hex mutation to be at risk of having a child with Tay-Sachs disease. If both parents are carriers, the children will have 25% chance of developing the condition. There is currently no cure for Tay-Sachs disease, so treatment involves making the child feel as comfortable as possible by treating the associated symptoms. Tay-Sachs disease used to be most common in people of Ashkenazi Jewish descent. Most Jewish people in the UK are Ashkenazi Jews. It is thought that around 1 in 25 Ashkenazi Jewish people are carriers of the mutated gene that causes Tay-Sachs disease. However, with screening, the condition is now rare and most cases occur in people who aren't of Ashkenazi Jewish descent. It's estimated that only around 1 in every 360,000 children born worldwide has Tay-Sachs disease.